guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you one of my top 10 car selling tips. This is one that I went over with my salespeople this week in the dealership, and that's to create an experience. Create an experience for your customer. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you think about some of the great experiences you've had in your life, right? Like, let's just say it was a great night out with friends, and uh, or maybe it was a great wedding that you went to, or, or a great vacation that you went to. Sometimes it's hard to quantify exactly what was great about the experience because it, it kind of all blends together. There, there was all of these different things, all of these different feelings that you had throughout the experience that it just feels in your gut and in your memory like, wow, that was great. And as time goes on, the, the remembrance of actually saying that it was a great experience when telling people about it is what lasts longer than the actual feeling of the experience. That wears off, but you do remember repeating to other people about the great experience that you had, and every time you do that, it almost keeps the, the story alive, right? So that's super important, to create an experience that people want to share with their friends, with their family, because that's going to keep the experience alive far after the feelings wear off. So when creating an experience, just know that you, you can't really go into it and say, I'm going to give the customer a great experience and, and then not do like the little things because that's a big, profound statement or, or goal, right? Or task at hand. But it takes an accumulation of little things throughout the entire experience to equal that great experience. And in today's market, you could actually see that it does like a great experience in the eyes of the consumer doesn't always mean the best deal because when when average gross profits were at their highest over the last two years, I know particularly that SSI, customer service scores, were at their highest as well. So that just shows you that customers can perceive an experience as being great and it has nothing to do with the amount of money they pay for the car. So it does, a great experience isn't the best deal and customers are never going to tell their friends, you know, they may even say, oh my God, I got a great deal, so-and-so hooked me up, and it was a profitable deal on the dealership's end, but they felt good doing it. So when you feel good about the person taking care of you in a business transaction, when you feel good about the place you're buying from, when you feel good about spending the money, your overall perception of the experience is much better. And it can come down to all the little nuances throughout the experience. The way you pulled the chair out for the customer, the way you asked them if they wanted a bottle of water, a cup of coffee, and did it multiple times. The efficiency, your smile, your disposition, the way you educated them throughout the process, the way you weren't combative, the way you demonstrated the product, uh, all, everything you do is an accumulation. Each little thing you do basically adds a few points to your overall experience score. So that's kind of how I look at it. And um, everything I do, I'm looking to just add some points. I'm trying to maximize my potential of making the deal and making the experience better for the customer. Hey, my friend, thank you for watching. And if you want to see videos just like this one, please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate the love and support. And don't forget, leave some comments down below. I'm looking forward to all of your interaction and feedback, and I can't wait to bring you more videos just like this one. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.